The 32 bolts that failed on the new Bay Bridge E-Span at Pier E2 were all made in 2008. The bolts made in 2010 have been subjected to numerous tests and the results don't require any remediation before the bridge opens to traffic. You may actually want to step back and get an overview from this side. You can see two with tents, two with ha one with a half tent and one not tented, right? As a long-term precaution, this field laboratory has been set up at Pier 7 Bridge Headquarters to conduct months of stress corrosion test. At the bridge, these bolts are at 70% of their load design. Here, the critical ends will be bathed in a corrosive salt solution in what are called wet chambers. There are two 300-ton hydraulic jacks on one end. Uh, there's the jack in there. You're, you can see the jack in there. Okay. This is a better view from up on top if you want to come up here. Over a 23-day period, the pressure will begin at 30% load for 48 hours, then 40% for 48 hours, then incrementally increased, step by step, past its bridge load of 70%. But if it still has some broken by 0.85, we are then going to pull it to, to until it breaks. And whatever load that is, uh, we will break these rods. A misconception of this is that we're going to find out how many years or decades the rod would be good for until it breaks. That's not what we're doing. What, what we're doing is we're, we're incrementally bumping up the load um, with uh, continuous saturation in salt water, and we are monitoring it and determining the load at which this rod will break. What happens when a massive steel rod or bolt breaks? Energy is released. As a precaution, a fence surrounds the outer perimeter. Three inch thick steel plates cover the top. It's just for protection. It's, it's just to protect the workers. We will be standing on top of those plates to tighten the nut down with a wrench that we reach down into there. Sandbags and four concrete barriers are set up on the other end, which is called the dead end. It's all an abundance of precaution. The rod or bolt is safely encased. Caltrans engineer Bob Brignano says the event will generate noise. So I've heard things break, uh, nothing this big. Uh, and uh, so this will be new here in, in, a, in a few weeks when we break it. Pier E2 bolts are being tested first. Other bolts and rods from other parts of the bridge will also be tested. There are four outcome possibilities. Based on the test results, the bolts may be left alone, or the tension on them could be reduced, or engineers could provide more dehumidification to reduce the chance of hydrogen embrittlement. Or finally, the 2010 bolts could also be replaced as part of a long-term maintenance project. On the Bay Bridge Project, Mark Jones reporting.